Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to learn all about Angular routing. Routing is an important part of any web application. So no wonder it's absolutely critical and important feature of Angular framework. There are multiple aspects to routing and there are a lot of important features that we need to learn in order to master Angular routing. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar Rao. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer and I'm here to share my knowledge with you all. Also, I'm here to learn from you all, which means during the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, any questions, just ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you. Also, I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials. So please support me by liking the video and also subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much in advance. <coughs> All right, so if you, this is part of the Angular 9 full tutorial series playlist, uh, which means that there are around 30 odd tutorials covered so far, right from basic introduction to the most advanced part, which is routing and forms that we are going to cover. So make sure you have checked out all of the tutorials if you really want to master Angular. <coughs> now talking about Angular routing. So Angular routing itself has a lot of features and a lot of, uh, I would say, functionality to it. So in order, if you want to learn it, I have broken it down to around 16 tutorials for you. Each tutorial will go in detail and cover hands-on examples of Angular routing. So namely, some of the key topics that we will cover in about <coughs> in learning Angular routing are, we will learn about what is routing, then we will learn about some of the routing strategies available. <coughs> we will learn about base href. We will also learn about uh, routing module, outlet, configuring routes, router link, how to parameterize the routes, how to redirect, how to handle wildcard, how to implement child routes, how to use lazy loading feature functionality, and much, much more. So these all these things put together becomes an important piece of Angular routing. So this is what we will be learning in all of the master Angular routing series. All right, so now let's learn a little bit about <coughs> what is routing, how it works in Angular. So routing is a mechanism used by Angular framework to manage the path or routes in our Angular application. Angular is a component driven framework, which means when we configure the path or routes, we are configuring the various navigation to the components. Angular framework comes with a built-in package called router, which has everything that we need to design, develop and implement routes. A router is singleton, which means there is only one instance of the router in the Angular application. So Angular router <coughs> is the official router that we will use that's available in the Angular framework itself. And it's found under the package at the rate angular slash router. We will need to set up a routes array. So basically we configure all the path in which are nothing but the routes in the route array. And whenever we request a particular URL or a route, it will come and check it in that array, right? And router has states, which means you can know that which state you are in and you can get the relevant important information from the current state. It has all the batteries included in the router. So which means we can do basically everything with the router itself. So what kind of routes we can handle? So we can handle routes which are pointing to the components directly. We can use it to get query params. We can use it to get the URL segments. We can use to configure the child routes. We can use lazy loading. We can handle wildcard, default routes, 404 not found, everything using router. It has all the things required that we want in any complex or simple application using router, right? So just to give you an example, if you look at this, let's make some notes quickly. <coughs> Angular routing, introduction. So 
all the routes slash paths or navigation requirements in angular are handled by angular router package it has all the things that we need we we navigate from one component view to other using the routes we can configure various types of routes like default route child routes we can do wildcard route we can do query params we can do url segments which are nothing but slash product and we can also do child routes we can do query we can do much much more like lazy loading and much much more we'll cover that in the topics that we will in the next coming tutorials uh, we create a routes array and whenever user requests a route it will search in the routes array if you want to see an example of it i'll quickly show you so this is an example you see we have a routes and we are configuring the path here multiple in multiple routes or multiple path we can configure so this is how the route uh, array looks like all right then we learned that uh, most of these routings are handled and router is singleton which means which means there is only one instance of angular router per application right <clears throat> so to summarize these are the important topics the important things that routing provides us right and in the next tutorial we are going to start with our hands-on examples where we will cover about routing strategies available in angular it's very important to plan our routing strategy because without which your application will not work properly so continue this series to learn and master angular routing join me in the next tutorial if you like this video give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep getting more tutorials thank you so much